Do you call yourself an atheist? Well, as it happens, other yes, I do call myself an atheist. And so, this video is for you. This video is for me? Oh, thank you. Why is everything going black? What are these words? You know, when I talk to atheists a lot on YouTube, I get a lot of hostility a lot of times. And I know when I talk to them that deep down inside, they really know that there is a God and that He exists. Well, blow me down. Turns out other knows what I really think. You know, all of those years in, in, in psychiatrists, all those hours in therapy, I could have just gone and asked other and he could have told me what was really going on in my heart. And people don't like to hear that. People don't want to hear that that they know that God exists because they don't want to be told that they know something that, you know, it's coming from someone else. Let me break it down for you here. Okay, what we now get from other is basically a very poor rehash of the Kalam um, cosmological argument. Um, not that hard to read, but the entire thing is premised on the physical laws of this physical universe being applicable to um, all possible things within the metaphysical universe. It doesn't have the evidence for that, um, and so I reject it. It doesn't work. But what I really want to talk about is um, how other, or oh, hello other, if you're watching this, goes about it. Because the video starts, um, are you an atheist? Or do you call yourself an atheist? So I presume it, it's pointed at atheists. Now, obviously not all atheists are the same, but on YouTube, most of the atheists, also, or a lot of atheists, and certainly me, tend to subscribe to scepticism, rationalism, um, an evidence-based approach. Just saying, other, that that's the way it is because I say so, doesn't cut a lot of mustard. Um, and frankly, to an atheist, putting in quotes from the Bible, now I recognise that they may be very meaningful to you, but to an atheist who says, you know, God, no God exists and the Bible was created by humans, I'm afraid that butters no parsnips. There's still no real explanation for why it is that way. Uh, what set it up? What set it up in that particular, um, th uh, that particular structure? Um, particularly the forces, why they do a certain way, the way they are, um, and how these forces and these natural processes form the current universe. Okay, this is another thing we get a lot: that the universe is fine-tuned to us, which. Seems a slightly odd claim, given that uh, humanity occupies uh, the surface of one small planet uh, circling a fairly average star um, in a boring solar system in a normal part of an uninteresting arm of a fairly usual galaxy. Uh, and then we also get the one about the four fundamental forces, the weak, the strong, the gravitational and the electromagnetic. Okay. Um, the thing is, it would seem, and I'm not a physicist, I don't claim to fully understand this, um, that we could actually fiddle with those and have something similar to this. We could even possibly get rid of the, the weak force altogether and have a universe that, that isn't a million miles away from what we've got. There's a link to a paper describing that in the um, doodly-doo. Um, we, you know, we keep being told that the universe is designed for us. Seems rather more likely that, well, we have to be, you know, we f we work within the universe because that's the way the universe is. We couldn't exist if we didn't work with it, if that makes sense. Why is it that way? Um, so it's it's obvious beyond a shadow of a doubt that, that God exists just by just by looking out at the universe and creation. I mean, what more evidence does God need to really provide? Okay, again, Arthur, look at who you're dealing with here. Just saying, oh, it's like that because it is. Um, isn't going to convince very many people. Um, I don't know how the universe started, and I don't think anyone knows. We've got pretty close to the Big Bang, but we don't know what, what happened before that. Um, we don't even know if time makes sense as a concept before then. Uh, and I think we have to have the intellectual integrity to be able to say, well, actually, we don't know. And the fact that we don't know doesn't mean that um, the intervention of a supernatural being is necessary. Knowledge of God's existence, um, coupled with our conscience, we understand that um, we do things that are wrong sometimes, and 
that God should punish that. Um, and that is frightening a lot of people. People don't like under, you know, knowing that you know, they've done wrong and that they should be punished for that. You know. Now, you put in the sidebar again, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3 verse 23. As I said before, um, that's from a book that I don't believe to be divine or divinely inspired. But let's assume for a moment that God exists. Why, if God exists, does he have the right to punish us? And why do we have a duty to obey him? Um, it will come one day and you don't like that it is coming and it's, it's frightening because... It's not frightening because I don't believe it's going to happen. You know, God would have a, have a cramp on my, you know, drinking and my uh, sexual immorality with my sleeping with all these people and... But I don't drink that much uh, and I'm married. Uh, yeah, doesn't really work, does it? I you know, you know, I like to steal, you know, some, you know, once in a while, or maybe you don't steal, maybe, maybe it's lying. Or, or what? Where did you get that from? No, I don't steal stuff. I don't even bloody download music off the internet. I mean, come on, you can't just, you know, say, oh, atheists, they steal a bit and they lie a bit. Well, you do as well, sunshine. The truth, you say, well, I'll just say God doesn't exist. That way I can, I can feel better about myself and I don't have a guilty conscience and I don't feel, you know, worried about judgment coming. How does that make any sense at all? I'm trying to get this through my head. If you say God doesn't exist, but your, your, your premise is that but you believe God exists, why would saying that he that God doesn't exist stop this awful punishment that's coming to you if you still believe God exists? Explain that one to me. You know, you'd rather think God done it than, uh, you know, than the truth. Or, uh, you know, you're just searching for answers, so you'll take anything. And that's that's not true, you see, because... Okay, we get a priceless little annotation here. Um, truth is that I do know, using a little common sense, it's easy. So, with a little common sense, he solved something that people have debated about for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Not only that, but God tells us in his word. So, the Bible tells us that um, God did it, and God... Yeah, come on, that's circular logic. Um... The Bible is holy. Why is it holy? Because it says so in the Bible, and the Bible's holy. Give me a break. Common sense declares. Logic declares. No, common sense doesn't declare. Logic doesn't declare. You declare. That doesn't make it right. Now, come on. Try and and work on my on my terms here. If you're trying to convince me of this, which is presumably what you did, you know, starting with, do you call yourself an atheist? You've got to try, you know, understand where I'm coming from. So come on, start again, try and convince me without just saying, well, it's like that because it's obvious. Because that isn't going to convince anyone. You know, man tends to corrupt everything that he touches. Man corrupts everything that he touches. So how do you have a wank? That's why there's so many religions out there, because people like to shape God into their own image. So how do we know you're not shaping God into your image? Give the Ten Commandments. You know. He forgot one or two, though, didn't he? Like, um, I don't know, slavery. Uh, didn't didn't mention uh, that. Which is, which is kind of... Oh, wait. Bible kind of okay about slavery, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Um, atheists don't exist. That Atheists don't exist? Yeah, yeah, exist. And I'm an atheist. Atheism is just a title that people who... Um, deny God's existence, um, want to call themselves so they can think that they are not guilty of what they're guilty Well, you tell me, of what am I guilty of? What are these terrible crimes I've committed? Come on, tell me, tell me. I, I, I really do hope that um, the atheists out there come to their senses. Okay, now we get a um, little annotation that says, If you still claim to be an atheist, pre please prove it. What, proof that I'm an atheist? Well, I'm telling you, I'm an atheist. Provide actual physical evidence to support you claim that you are an atheist. I won't believe you on faith, I need proof. So you're happy to believe in God on faith, uh, but, 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 yeah, anyway. No. You, atheism is, you know, saying the evidence you've provided is insufficient. I'm not making any positive claims about how the universe started in being an atheist. I'm saying that the, the various theistic notions 
uh, simply don't work. So no, the burden of proof is on you, Sunshine. You provide me with the proof. After all, remember what you said at the beginning of the video? You know, are you, are you an atheist? Do you call yourself an atheist? If you're trying to convince me, you're going to have to work a little bit harder than, the, than just telling me I'm a sinful wretch and that I'm wrong. They're really not atheists. They're just lost. GPS, motherfucker.